Hi everybody, it's Kate Kaltoff and welcome to the first day of the January through June 2020 mini catalog from Stampin' Up. It's kind of an exciting day. I've been very busy this morning, um, very motivated to wake up early and get some things done. Uh, had to place a pretty big product share, so thank you so much for all of you who ordered product shares from me. I truly appreciate it. And as soon as I get those in, I will be putting all of those together and getting them in the mail to you. If you haven't uh, yet signed up for my product share, it's not too late because I offer the product shares through the end of January. And the best thing about that is it's not the end of January yet. It's only the third day. So you have a few more weeks to get in on the action if you'd like to. Of course, the sooner you order, the sooner you pay for your share, the sooner you're going to get it, and the sooner you can be enjoying all of that awesome, wonderful product. Hello, so many of you are already watching. Hooray, thank you for joining me. It is kind of a different time for me. I know that a lot of you expect me at 10 o'clock in the morning, but again, I was pretty busy with the new catalog, so wasn't exactly here. Um, but I am pretty much on time for one o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm glad about that. I've been so busy, actually. I haven't even eaten a proper lunch. I had a... Um, something around 10.30, just a little snack, because I don't usually eat breakfast, I just have coffee, and so I'm starting to get hungry. And we have a pretty busy day today, because in addition to all of this Stampin' Up! stuff, we are getting ready for a big snowmobile trip, so I have to run to the grocery store as soon as this is over and get stocked up for the weekend. We've got quite a few people coming up to, to ride those trails, so pretty excited about that. So what I'm going to do here today is I've got so much to go over with you. There's some, there's some amazing cards that I've gotten in the mail. So this will be, some of this will be Christmassy because I know you want to see these cards and I can't wait to show them to you. Um, but then a lot of it will be very Valentine-y because the, pro the projects I'm making today are Valentine's. But I also want to show you the, the new demo special as well as my product shares. So rather than chit chat anymore, I'm going to flip the camera down and we'll get, go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to start with all of the lovely cards I got in the mail. And so, of course, I didn't prep very much in advance here because I was really busy this morning. So I'll probably forget the name of some of these stamp sets. But I do want to show you the first one. The first one I got from my very good friend, Monica Davis. She lives down in Atlanta, Georgia with her husband, Greg, and Steve and I love hanging out with them on the Stampin' Up! incentive trips and even at other times of the year if we can work it in. So she created a beautiful card with the perfectly plaid bundle. And you can see she used the nested labels framelits, just something real simple. This is a great idea for mass producing your cards for Christmas because you are just going to take a strip of designer series paper, punch out that pine tree, stamp a greeting, and call it good. So pretty cool. Hi, Amy. Welcome. Hi, Teresa. Hello, Yvonne. Oh my goodness, Kathy is here and she's sharing already. Thank you, you guys, so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Monica, for sending this really lovely card to Steve and I. All right, the next card that I'm going to share is one from my downline member. This is Ellen Schmall's card. She is from South Dakota. And she has been in my downline group now for a really long time. I'm not sure exactly how many years, but quite a while. She's a pretty busy lady out there in South Dakota. And one of the things that she loves to do at Christmas time, besides send cards, she's an amazing cookie maker. So I always see her posts on Facebook, and she just has trays and trays and trays of cookies. And it's so funny because my husband and I were just talking. Of course, we have a married daughter. There's no talk of, of grandchildren yet, but you know, as soon as you have somebody in the family married, you start thinking about it. And, I, and Steve was teasing me. He goes, you know, our grandkids are going to have to go to the other grandma if they want cookies at Christmas. And he's absolutely right because we just don't do cookies here. It's kind of terrible, but, but we don't. We usually um, focus in on chocolates and coffee. So that's kind of our forte. So anyway, thank you, Ellen, for the beautiful card made with nature's beauty. I love it. And then she stamped some beautiful cards and the uh, beautiful stars in the background, which is pretty fun. 
All right, another card I received was this really pretty card from one of my customers who also lives down in Atlanta. And this is from Lynn Washer, and she used a beautiful, delicate ornament um, thinlet die here with the with some real red foil. And she has the, I think it was the hammered metal uh, embossing folder here, and then along with some of the really, really popular paper that was so popular it sold out, and it's coming back next year, and I think it was called the B Brightly Gleaming. So a really pretty card, and of course she accented the copper accents in the Brightly Gleaming with a square of copper foil behind this beautiful element here. So thank you so much, Lynn. I love it. It's so pretty. So it really brightened up our day to receive that from you and James. And then the next card that I want to share with you is another Downline member. Um, she is celebrating one year in Stampin' Up! So thank you, Bonnie Kramer. I think she's even watching today. She used the host set from the holiday catalog to create this super cute Christmas card. She did a little bit of masking right here so that she could get the tree to look like it was coming out of the truck. She's got the really pretty shaded spruce and gold stripe ribbon as an accent. And what I love about this card is that it has like a lever open. So you can see that it just opens right here and she very neatly tucked it behind the designer series paper right here. So it doesn't show on this side. I always love it when people go that extra step to make everything look nice and neat and Bonnie always does. She is such an amazing stamper. So thank you so much Bonnie uh, Kramer for this beautiful card and I love that you're celebrating one year in Stampin' Up! Congratulations. All right, and the next card oh, is also from a Downline member. This is from Joyce Paulson out in South Dakota, and she used that really cute Cup of Christmas Cheer stamp set here. That's a reversible stamp set that was in our holiday catalog. She used the thinlets here to cut it out, and then she's got a, what a great way to decorate this. She punched out a sprig from gold foil and then just added a cute little, uh, kind of a little paper heart here from one of her uh, dies that she has and it's just beautiful of course that beautiful plaid background in the and um and then there's the gold foil in the plaid background and then she also uh, matched it here with the gold sprig. So I'm going to hold this up a little closer to the camera so you guys can see this because this is one of my favorite cards. Of course she knows I love coffee so she can't help but send me something with coffee related, a uh, coffee related Christmas card but I love it. Thank you so much Joyce for the Christmas card. It's beautiful. And this one is actually from a former Downline member, so not all the time do cus do people join Stampin' Up! and stay with it, but, but we stay friends forever, and that's what I love about Stampin' Up! We're one big family, so whether you're, you're actually a demonstrator or whether you are a customer or a former demonstrator, it makes no difference. You are a stamper, and that's what counts. And this is from Doreen Bai and her husband, Jim. They're local right here, and so I do run into them quite often if I uh, go to a craft fair because they love to go to craft fairs and uh, her husband Jim is very talented with woodworking so they always have some amazing things to on display at the craft fairs and then of course Doreen is extremely talented with 3D things but she used that beautiful uh, Christmas twall stamp set and then she did this most beautiful background with our woodland embossing folder and it's just a gorgeous card with that cardinal. So one thing I'm really excited to share is a lot of the cards that I'm sharing today are going to carry over into the next holiday catalog. So we will have a chance to get some of these again, which is great. Okay, the next card that I'm going to share is from Janine Knippel, and she is also a Downline member. She is also local to me, actually just probably lives about a mile away from my house. She used the Christmas Gleaming uh, stamp set, I believe, and the Christmas Gleaming paper, 
Actually, I don't know if I have these words exactly right, but you guys know what I mean. You've been seeing them all through the holiday period. They're just beautiful. Had a coordinating uh, pack of punches so you could punch out the bigger ornaments and the smaller ornament, which is super fast, super fun. And there is a coordinating punch pack in the new um, spring catalog that we're going to be looking at today. And so I'm excited to share that with you. So thank you so much, Janine, for sending me that Christmas card. Then I got another one from Andy Ketting. She is a customer and she's also a fellow camper. We have, a, we have a summer place on a lake and their camper is right behind our camper up at the lake. And so she made this really cute Christmas card for me and I love it. And it's got a whole bunch of uh, darling little uh, people or little um, Christmassy theme things peeking out. You've got a penguin here and a polar bear and Santa. And this looks like a little reindeer. So just a cute, fun little card that she created and sent to me because she knows how much I love card making. And I'm inspired by everything that she does. So thank you so much, Andy. It was really fun to get that in the mail. Then I have another card I am sharing with you. This one is actually featuring some new products. This is... Um, of course, I'm not going to be able to remember it now, and I don't have my book handy, but there is a punch and a coordinating stamp set in our celebration brochure, and this card was made by one of my downline members, Dawn Michaels, and she sent me this thank you card because she won our Mula Monday. Every single week in my downline group, we have a little drawing for people who share on our Facebook group, and she is a very consistent sharer in our group. And so it's, you know, not that unlikely that she would win once in a while, and she did. And so she used that really cute punch with the coordinating flowers. And then she used, um, on that same stamp set that has the flowers and the little leaves, there's some really nice sentiments. So I just want to hold this up to the camera so you can see how pretty this is. It says, I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. Well, goodness, Dawn, that's exactly how I feel about you. So that was pretty nice. So I love it. And she has it in the, um, the purple posy background paper here that looks so good with that uh, gray granite ribbon here and the gray granite paper here. And I never would have thought to put those two together, but it's an absolutely stunning combination. So thank you so much, Dawn. Then I have another card that I got in the mail just today, so I'm glad I'm not the only one who gets Christmas cards out late once in a while. This is from a Downline member down in uh, Sioux City, Iowa. So this is from Diana Wilson. She has been in our group quite a while as well, and I love this card. She was inspired by one of her customers, so that is so much fun when uh, you get a card from a customer, and then it takes you down a whole new way of creating, so a really, really pretty card, and I love the size, too. It's nice and big, lots of room for a, for a letter or a family picture, and then the final card that I'm going to share with you today I also got in the mail today, and this one actually came in a package so that it would not get wrecked. And this is from my downline member uh, named Kathy Galloway. And she lives down in the southern part of the United States. I don't want to say the state because I might, I might not have it right. But look at what a beautiful card she created. She used um, the Still Seen stamp set bundle. And look at this, you guys. It's so beautiful. And she has the little snowflakes in here. And she used the Night of Bethlehem stamp set. And it's just so gorgeous. So much sparkle. So I'm going to hold it up so you can see it really close. But but it is just beautiful. She used the snow globe thinlets and, and the snow globe uh, topper here. And look at the bottom. Look at all that sparkle just underneath that ribbon. So Kathy, you have some, you have an amazing talent. Kathy is actually a fairly new demonstrator in my group. And so I have gotten two cards from her so far that just, 
I don't know if I'll ever take them. I don't know if I'll ever take these off my display rack. They are just so beautiful. So thank you so much, Kathy. You are truly a treasure. And look at even tucked way up there in the globe is a little uh, tiny star. You know, the star of Bethlehem. So beautiful. And then she she decorated the inside so beautifully too. Everything is just done so gorgeously on this card. So thank you again, Kathy. You are amazing. All of my downline are amazing, and I'm so pleased that I have such a great group of women that I am get to work with and that I'm friends with as well. All right, so are you interested, possibly, maybe, fingers crossed, in learning more about becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator? Well, please contact me. There is This is a really good time to join because um, you, right now, during celebration, you can get this little mini trimmer. It's absolutely adorable. And a beautiful sampling of six by six designer series paper. Look at all of this paper. It's 48 sheets of six by six designer series paper. So you will be able to create lots and lots of cards with this beautiful paper. And it's all from our spring catalog and then this little trimmer is so dainty and so cute it hardly takes up any room at all on your desk and I'm going to show you one thing that it's really really good for I accidentally cut this piece one eighth inch too big so I'm going to share with you how easy it is to use this little trimmer to trim up off little slivers of paper so I'm going to take one sixteenth of an inch off from this side and one sixteenth of an inch off from the other side and then I'm going to take one sixteenth off here and one sixteenth off here and then we'll be down to the size that I should have made this to begin with and so here it is look at those tiny little slivers of paper it just cuts it so beautifully and now I have it cut to the right size so really fun okay so if you are interested and not only do you get the the lovely little mini trimmer along with um, 48 pieces of six by six sampler designer series paper you also can get a stamp set of your choice so in addition to these goodies which are exclusive by the way just to new demonstrators you can also get a stamp set of your choice so if you're watching the video today and you're crazy about the stamp set that I'm showing you, you can get the heartfelt stamp set absolutely free as a as part of your demonstrator kit. And this would be a free add-on as your celebration special. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. And the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is my product shares. We have so much to cover today. Um, but I have to share this with you because I have had a lot of people order and then some people like to see what they're getting before they order. So most of the orders that I get initially are people who have ordered from me in the past because they like, they like how I do it. And so I am going to share with you how I do it so you can see it. So you can choose from three different things. You can get just the ribbons. So it's two yards of um, all of the ribbons in the new spring mini along with one yard each of our uh, twine that we're offering that's part of the country club product suite so there'll be four yards of twine and then two yards of everything else so that's the ribbon you can also get just the embellishments if you want and that includes a half pack of all of the poppy elements that you see here along with a couple of strips of our um, petal pink rhinestones and then you get a sampler of the little baggies you get a whole bunch of little hearts and then all the other little trinkets that are part of the uh, Stampin Up um, offering in our mini catalog here the other thing you can do is get a pack of paper now you can go ahead and get a six by six paper pack or you can get a 6x12 paper pack. So if you get the 6x12 paper pack, which is what I'm showing here, you would double up on the best dressed 6x6 pack. So that's what that looks like. And then we have all of the uh, 
six by 12 paper, but like I said, you can also get it in six by six size. So these are all of those papers in the six by 12 size, just for me to show you. Now, no matter how you order it, whether you just get ribbons or just get paper or just, you know, get whatever combination you want, everybody will get a little gift from me and it's the From My Heart Faceted Gems. So you'll get a quarter pack of that for free as a little gift. And they look like this and they're so fun and sparkly and just beautiful. So I'm kind of rolling them around here. Hopefully they're catching the light for you and you can see how pretty they are. So everybody gets that in a, a quarter pack of that in a little three by three envelope. And if you get the get everything bundles, which means you would get the paper and the embellishments and the ribbon, if you choose to get a get everything bundle, if you get it in the six by 12 inch size, you will also get six by 12 inch Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series paper and the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper from our um, celebration catalog, which I think is a pretty good deal. And I love the six by 12 size because you can make a few more cards with it. However, if you're just wanting to get a sampling and you're gonna stick with the six by six size, you'll also get the little add-on gift of the celebration paper, but you'll just get it in the six by six size. And that's for everybody that gets the Get Everything bundles, which, quite honestly, are my most popular um, things that I sell. Because people figure, well, if I'm going to do this, I might as well get it all. Isn't that how we are? All right. So now let me share with you the catalog. Normally, I, would, I have not been able to show this. But as of today, I can. I can show you the inside pages of our catalog. Hooray. So here is the From Your Heart Products, or From My Heart Products Suite, and it, it includes some wonderful paper, which we'll be working with just a little bit today. So it's very shiny. It's got a foil side on some of the pages, and then a plain side, and it's really fun and really neat to work with, and it makes some beautiful, beautiful projects. And so... Some of the things, and including the giveaway, so today I'll make two cards, and the giveaway on Monday will be one of the cards, I'll, well, I'll give away two cards along with two yards to go with each card of the Real Red Double Stitched Satin Ribbon. So let me um, share with you what that looks like. So this is the card we're going to make. And then this is the beautiful satin ribbon that looks super sharp on that card. And that will be the giveaway on Monday. So I'll just do a little drawing. And how do you get in the giveaway? It's so easy, you guys. Just make comments as I'm doing the Facebook Live or comment if you're catching the replay. And then the other thing you can do is share this on your timeline. And if you share it, just come back and let me know that you've shared it and you'll be in the drawing. So... As you know, I have a wonderful group of downline members, and one thing that we do is once a month, we do a demo meeting. And so I wanna show you the make and takes from this month's demo meeting because we use the From My Heart product suite. So first of all, we made this adorable little box, and then we created all of these note cards to go into the box. So you can see that the box Oh, let me just double check. It's about an inch and a quarter wide, and then it's sized to fit note cards. So this is what this looks like. And then these are the really cute um, cards that we did to put into the little box. And all of my downline get to have this class um, as a freebie from me, and they get to, well, I shouldn't say it's a freebie. Everybody gets the instructions for free, but if they get the supplies, then I charge $5 to do this. And so here's another little card that we got, or that we made. Super cute, has the, the matching envelope, or the coordinating envelope there. It's just our Whisper White note cards. Here's another one. And as you can see, this uses the bundle that we're going to be using today, the Heartfelt Bundle. 
here's it's so cute and so much fun to make these cards and and here is the last one that we did so it was one two one two three four cards and of course they all have the little gems on them and then of course the box to put them in so just a really really fun little class all right so now what are we doing today let's go ahead and plan out what we're doing today so I am going to show you how to make this card but before I do that I'm going to show you this little tiny heart foil tin well it's not super tiny it's big enough to bake a cupcake in but it looks like this and I didn't quite put it together because I want to show you some things because tying a ribbon around a heart-shaped box is not the easiest thing in the world let me assure you and so I'm going to go over how that is done but before I do that let me just see here what did I do with it? I had a whole bunch of supplies to re to show you how this is done and now they have disappeared off my desk. Well, that means they're probably sitting across the room. So I'm kind of scanning my room, trying to find it. I don't know where they went. If I drop them, I had had a lot of things on my desk. So it's not really super surprising that I misplaced it. Hold on one second. I'm gonna do a quick scan around my room and see if I can't find it. Yep, here it is. Okay, so let me show you how I created, first of all, this little heart that we're going to decorate uh, the top of our tin with. So what you're going to do is take a little piece of our um, From My Heart Specialty Designer Series paper, and then we're going to use these punches that look like this. This is part of the bundle, the heartfelt bundle. And we're not gonna use the scrolly one. There's one that has little scallops around it. We're not gonna use that one. We're gonna use the straight edged heart. So you're just gonna open it up and then put your designer series paper in. And what I like to do, I'm gonna hold this up to the camera so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here. But I like to, to make sure that I'm stamping this heart right with these little dots. You can put one little dot down here at this part of the heart and then the other dot up there at the top and that guarantees that your heart will be punched very evenly and straight there we go and it will look like that and it all looks really nice then we're gonna make this little um, sending a little something here and that is actually a celebration stamp set so it's called sending you thoughts and then there's there's all kinds of different thoughts like uh, get well and happy birthday and thank you and congratulations well we're gonna do sending a little something okay and so it's pretty cute so what we're gonna do is grab some real red ink right here and then I've got it all set up on a block G I'm just gonna ink this up and then I have a half a half inch strip of whisper white design uh, just whisper white cardstock here and then you're just gonna stamp sending a little something right there okay I did that crooked so I'm going to try it again I have to get my head over it so hold on a second hopefully that one came out a little straighter yes that one's perfect Works a lot better when you can get your head over it, but I know that way you guys weren't seeing what I was doing, but you can see the difference. There I am stamping, having no idea how I'm stamping, because I'm stamping blind. And here's where I stamped with my head right over the top and it worked perfect. So now, to get this to fit onto our heart, it's super easy. You just take your straight edged punch, you just go up here, and we're gonna cut off this little dot, dot, dot. So just line it up on your punch, cut off those little dots, and just bring it down, and it will look, okay, now this is going to be hard again because I can't see what I'm doing, so hold on. I'm going to bring it up a little closer to the camera, and maybe if I stand up, I can see it better. So what you're trying to do is make sure that it's straight across, straight across, so you're not, you're not cutting it crooked. I think that looks pretty good and then you just punch it out 
and then go ahead and add a little snail to the back of it or you could use just a little bit of glue if you want to wiggle it into place and you're just going to take this and you're going to line it up so that it lines up perfectly on this heart and it will and I think that looks pretty good so then flip it over press it burnish it down and there we go now we have sanding a little something and it fits perfectly right onto our heart doesn't it looks so good Elaine is asking, how do I keep my punches sharp so they cut real good? What I would do is just get some, some aluminum foil and just punch it out a few times with aluminum foil, and that's what I do to keep my punches sharp. Um, and it works pretty good. And honestly, I haven't had much problems with my Stampin' Up! punches going dull. They're pretty well made. Okay, so now let me talk to you a little bit about tying ribbon onto this, this little cupcake tin. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. All right, so I discovered that what you have to do is start with a long strand of it so that you have enough to make a bow. And before I tied the ribbon on, I put the cupcake thing together, but what I did not put on the inside is candy. So if you <laughs> if you plan to give somebody candy, get your candy in before you do the bow. But as this is my display, I didn't want candy in it anyway. But what you're going to do is you're going to take some a heart doily, and I just glue dotted one of our heart doilies on the top. So you actually have three colors of heart doilies here. You've got flirty flamingo, you've got real red, and then, ta-da, flip it over, and you've got whisper white. So, kind of cool. So I wanted to use the whisper white side because I knew that would show off the real red ribbon perfectly. So I just glue dotted, I used one glue dot in the very center of the doily and put that into my clear, glass, my clear plastic lid. Then what I did is I took my ribbon and I taped it to the bottom of my tin. So you can see the tape right here. And then, so that the tape doesn't show, you are going to take another one of the designer series papers from the from my heart specialty designer series paper pack and again using the straight edge punch you can just punch that out it fits perfectly into the designer paper so here I have a red one which looks pretty but I think I'll use the pink flamingo one or the flamingo pink or what is it called flirty flamingo one and then you can just take a pen to you from me or whatever you want to say on it flip it over and you're going to put it on with dimensionals just a couple so we'll just put a couple of dimensionals here on the back and then we'll just put it over the top of that tape and now the bottom is finished now for the top we're gonna do the same thing you have your cute little heart you've already got your sentiment in it just flip it over well you tie you put a piece of scotch tape over the top of your ribbon then you tie your bow because the tape will hold this in place tie your bow and then trim it off and then to finish it up Take your little heart, do three dimensionals on it, and then you'll hide the tape behind the heart. So then you can just set this in like so, and provided you have candy in there, you can give it away to someone, and they will love it. They will love it, you guys. So easy to do. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to make this card. Now, when I saw the stamp set, let me show you the stamp set, I was completely enamored of this long um, arrow because I thought, oh, I love this, and I love, 
I love hearts that have arrows going through them. I don't know why, but I just do. I think they're so pretty. So I really wanted to make that the, the super focus of this card. And so I didn't want a lot of distraction on this. So I'm not using designer series paper. I'm not using little gems or anything. But of course you could if that's your style. The only thing I wanted to do was add ribbon at the bottom. And then I wanted the focus to be on this arrow. And this is a really, really good friendship card. It says, roses are red, violets are blue. So lucky to have a friend like you. And my grandmother used to tell me that when she was young, Valentine's was a super big deal. And they sent it not just to the people that they love, but to all their friends in particular. And so she showed me some of the Valentines that she had received when she was young. And oh my goodness, they were so elaborate. So this would look very plain and simple. But I can tell you that um, it's one that appeals to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this card. So I'm making two of them today because I am going to do a giveaway on Monday. And we'll give away two yards of that new double-stitched real red ribbon. And so I'm going to make two cards. So we've got basic black here. This is four and a quarter by 11 inches scored at five and a half. So as you can see, I've already got that ready to go for both cards. And then... The next layer that we're going to work with is the inside layer so that I can get some of this stuff off my desk. So the inside layer is Whisper White and it's four by five and a quarter. And there's not a lot to it because all we have to do is stamp one thing. So we're gonna get our real red ink out. We're going to grab the sentiment and then, um, uh-oh, where did it go? I do need a Stampin' Pad, so I am looking around. Maybe I don't have one here. I thought I did, though. Well, shoot. Hold on just one second. Oh, I did have it. I had it back where, where my other stuff was that I couldn't find earlier. So anyway, what we're going to do is just ink this inside sentiment up. Make sure you have it right side up. And we will just stamp it right in the middle, about a third of the way down. I like my sentiments to be a little bit higher versus right dead in the middle because I want to have room to maybe write one or two sentences in my name. So we're going to do the same thing to this one. I have to look at it so I make sure I'm stamping it right side up. And there it is. So now we're going to flip these over and we are just going to take some snail here go along the top and then we'll go ahead and put this into our card so here is one just center that in so that all four borders are nice and even and we'll do the same thing on our next card all right Okay, so now let's go ahead and do that panel that we're going to do. And so the outside panel is cut the same because we need something to wrap our ribbon around. So this is four by five and a quarter. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that beautiful ribbon and we are just going to cut it a little bit wider and then we'll do a ribbon wrap. So I've got my ribbon scissors here. We're just going to go like that and then I'm actually gonna cut two more because we need to do a tie-on on this ribbon so we need four strips so I will get this out of here and we have it all done now so I'll set two aside and then we'll do our wrap and we want to keep this oh where's my original card uh, not quite a half inch up from the bottom you want to keep it pretty low so what I do is I just fold over one edge and I use a little scotch tape to secure it. And as long as I'm doing this, and you guys know how this goes, I'm gonna look at the comments here. So Yvonne is saying that she loves the colors I picked. Yes, I think they are quite striking. Basic black and real red are very striking and make really pretty Valentine's colors. Um, let me see what else. Oh, people are wishing me Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Teresa thought it was a great idea to use the punch to cut the strip 
so that it is an, an exact match with the heart. Thank you, Teresa. That was kind of a, a cool idea. I don't know how I came up with that. Just one of those things. I was very relaxed over Christmas doing a little bit of stamping because it wasn't snowing, it was raining. So we could not go snowmobiling in the rain. So I had about two days where I did nothing but play with my stamps, ink, and paper, which are perfect days, actually. All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish this off. Now, as long as I've uh, got it here, we're going to set this aside for one second, and we're going to do some stamping. So I've got some Whisper White paper, and these are cut at 2 and 3 fourths by 4 inches. But guess what? I have one here that's already done, so we're going to use this one, and then I'll just stamp on the one and show you how to do it. So we'll use one. So again, two and three-fourths by four inches, and I'll just do one, and then I'll have a backup in case I really goof up. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to take my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. This is truly the best ink for a black ink to use with photopolymer stamps. Because if you use the stays on black ink, you will find that it makes your stamps really black and then you can't see through them. So this actually comes off fairly easily. The black does. Now reds will not. Reds will stain your photopolymers, but that's just normal, so don't worry about that. But at least with the black, you can, you can get this particular black off. So what I'm going to do is I've got this all inked up, and I'm just going to put it right... Okay, so I've got to have my head over here. I might not get it right. But I want this pretty much right dead in the center. All right. So there it is. I had to take it off camera for a minute so I could see what I was doing. Then I'm just pressing, letting the paper grab the ink, because if you just press, you know, put it down, bring it up, you're going too fast. You want to get a really nice image like this, and to do that, you have to let it set on the paper for just a second so it has a chance to absorb the ink. Then we're going to take the Roses Are Red, Violets Are Blue stamp, and we're going to stamp that in real red. So I still have my real red sitting here. Let me move a couple things here. So I... Okay, so here it is. Again, I have to make sure I'm stamping it the correct direction, which is kind of hard to see, but I think I got it right. So roses are red, violets are blue. That is going to go right here, right in the center of that heart. So give it a second again to let your ink through, and there it is. Okay, now the next step is the fun one. In fact, I want to show you a couple of things. So whenever you have um, a, photopolymer, a photopolymer stamp that's long and skinny like this, it's really a hassle and a half to try to put it on a block and make sure that it's straight. So one little tip that I have for you is to flip it upside down over the top of any surface and then hoover your block over the top and it will be straight for you. Straight as in... You know, when you just put it on like this, sometimes you end up getting it crooked. Now, that's fine. If you want a crooked arrow, that's fine. But I want a nice and straight arrow, so I'm just going to flop it down. Maybe you can't even see it. How about if I do it on some paper so you can see what I'm doing? Just flop it down like so, and then hoover your block over the top. And then you can get it on the block without it getting wavy. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is take a couple of post-its. So I've got these little bitty tiny post-its here, and I'm going to cut it in half because we want to mask out so that our arrow does not... Okay, I'm going to have to cut this again. We don't want our arrow hitting our words. So you're kind of masking out the words. Hold on. This was a lot easier to do when I wasn't on camera. <laughs> it just went so fast. 
course now, okay, here we go. So I'm masking out the words. There we go. Okay, all the words are masked out. And we don't have to be too particular about this. So don't worry about it being perfect. You just want to make sure that some of your arrow shows in the, in the center of the heart in both directions. All right, so now we're going to ink up the arrow. And I find the easiest thing for me to do is to go like this, taking the ink pad to it. Because when I go straight down, it's somehow I get ink all over my my uh, block and I don't want that in fact even doing it that way I see I have a little bit of ink right here so I'm gonna grab a Kleenex because when you have a really skinny stamp it's pretty easy to wiggle it when you're putting it down and you you want to keep this really nice and clean um, so let me just make sure everything is cleaned up now what you're gonna do is just center this in from left to right and just put it right over the top and then again, you're going to hold it and give it a, just be patient, give it a little time to soak good into the paper and then lift it away. Then pull away your post-it notes, but don't do it with your fingers because that ink is going to not dry super fast onto the post-it and you don't want to get it on your fingers and then end up smearing it, which I'm doing this very carefully. Hold on. There we go. There's our beautiful card. Look at how fun that is, you guys, with the with the little um, arrow going into the heart and coming out over here. I love that. I hope you're as pleased as I am. It's very fun. So here's the other one that I had done in advance. So now we're gonna line this so that you have a 1 8 inch border going all around. So we have two and 5 eighths by four and 1 8 And then just flip it over. Add some snail. And then you're just gonna hold this little panel, kitty corner, and hoover it over the top. And there you are. So there's one. And we're going to do the same thing to this one. Oh, I just love the I just love this stamp set. I love that that little arrow is just just talks to me. I just love it. So burnish it down. Now what you're going to do is add some dimensionals to the back and while I'm doing that, I will see I will have a chance to look at your comments again. Okay. Let's see what we all have people saying. Oh, we have people watching from North Dakota, from Minnesota, from Wisconsin, North Carolina, where it's thundering and lightning, lightning. I can't even, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Virginia, welcome everybody. So great to have you here. And thank you for commenting and sharing. Oh my goodness. Somebody vacationed in California. That's fantastic. Okay. We're getting there, you guys. Let's see who else have we got on here. Ohio. Oh, my goodness. People are from all over the place. Okay, so now we've got the, where to go, the red paper here. Whoops, not that one. I'm going to go here. So I've got my black paper here where I have the ribbon on the bottom, and then you're just gonna set this in so that the top and the right and the left are all even. So it will look like that. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna add our dimensionals. Oh my goodness, Denver, Colorado, wonderful. Yvonne says, thank you for sharing the tips and tricks. My pleasure, Yvonne, I love sharing tips and tricks. I always think sometimes that my tips really, you know, they're so simple. Everybody probably already knows them, but I just keep sharing them anyway. Sometimes it's just the littlest things that make a difference. Um, we have one from Peoria, Arizona. Welcome, Monique. It's good to have you here. I know you've been a faithful watcher over the years. All right, now we're going to do our second card here. Again, you're just setting it in so the right, left, and top are all... Oops, I better bring this in. 
you want to make that even and I've got to make this really good because this is going to one of our winners on Monday there I saved it and somebody from Iowa welcome hello Colleen good to have you here Alberta Canada Wow great Northern California my daughter spent Christmas in California this year she was in Santa Rosa California for about 10 days visiting her boyfriend and his family Elkhart, Indiana, Indiana. Welcome, Tracy. Um, great to have you here. All right, so now, you know, rather than using snail, I think I'm going to go ahead and use some multi-purpose liquid glue on this panel because I know that's really good. It's going to stick really well. So we're going to flip this over, set this on here, and we're almost done. Then you can take your extra strip that you cut and we will tie on. We're going to do a tie on. So I'm going to show you how to do this tie on because everybody gets confused how to do tie ons. So you do it just as if you were going to tie your shoe. But then instead of just pulling it, you put your thumb underneath and you flip it up so that the bottom comes to the top. And when that happens, you get a nice flat knot for your card. There it is. One card done, looking pretty. And let's go ahead and finish up the other cards. So again, I'm gonna take this panel, we'll add some multi-purpose liquid glue to the back. <laughs> Linda's, Linda's saying she's just in time to see the finished card. So she is going to come back and watch to see how to put it together. Wonderful. Great to have you here, Linda. Thank you for joining us even at the end here. Of course, you can always catch us on the replay. I won't do the, the drawing and give away the cards and the ribbon until Monday, so you still have time. So again, just as if you're tying your shoe, but then take your thumb. Whoops. Let me try that again. Just as if you're tying your shoe, but then take your thumb, put it underneath, Flip it up so the back comes to the top, or the bottom comes to the top, and give it a little pull, and there you go. It looks so pretty. And then you can just trim it up. And there it is. So beautiful. All right, so let me show you what it looks like. Here's the two we did... Um, I don't know if we did them today, but I got them all over here. I've got them all about, all scattered about. So here they are. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. I do hope uh, if you are interested in becoming a demonstrator and you are one of my customers that you will sign up under me during celebration and get all the wonderful freebies that Stampin' Up! is offering right now. There's never any pressure to sell. I have lots of people on my team who are purely discount shoppers. Um, then there's the crazies like me, and if you're kind of like me and like to be sort of business oriented, I can certainly help you with that as well. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. I will have a lot more lined up to share with you all through the month of January. Bye-bye.